Why is the 9th of May Europe's day? In 1945, a man on the cusp of 60 landed back in France after being in the US, accompanied by his wife and two daughters. His name was Jean Monnet. In the winter of 1950, Monet was alarmed by the international situation. Growing misunderstandings between the French and German governments were giving rise to fears of a new war. La France, comme la plupart des pays d'Europe, est en ruine. Monet se met en quête de reconstruire son pays. Mais comment peut-on expliquer qu'on ait confié la tâche de reconstruire la France puis de garantir la paix sur tout un continent à un tel personnage qui ne détient aucune fonction politique. Monet quite rightly thought he had hit on a great idea. The coal and steel industries had played a key role in the war. If the opposing sides coal and steel industries were merged, war would become not just more unlikely, but materially impossible. And after the 9th of May, e l'avvio della Comunità Europea del Carbone e dell'Acciaio, Monet resta a capo dell'Alta Autorità della Ceca fino agli inizi del 1955. La paix, tant déniée pendant notre histoire, nous a été amenée de façon durable par Monet, Schumann, Adenauer et encore d'autres architectes visionnaires de l'Europe.